Welcome back to Media Mesh, where I give you my unapologetic opinion on everything from music, movies, news, reality, TV, and so much more as we go down the rabbit hole. This is your home for the intelligent dissection of social media. Thank you for checking out the channel. Make sure you go and check out that playlist, man. I got close to 200 videos for you guys to enjoy. Now, what I'm talking about today, as you can see from the title, is that this whole quote unquote uh, chase money glitch, which uh, really was not a glitch at all. It was just a, a, a test and a trap. OK, but it has now created what I believe is a new permanent underclass. I wasn't going to do a video on this because so many people are doing this, uh, but I just have to give my little two cents here and just to look at it from a higher perspective. You know, this is something that was put into place for multiple reasons. And for those who are sympathetic uh, to the people who fell into the trap, you know, that's your right. You can do that um, because some people would say, well, you know what, if I had funds, you know, or the means to take care of myself and my family, I wouldn't have had to do this. So that's one school of thought. But then. On the flip side, you have people who are always looking for a free lunch. You know, there are scammers out here. There's people that's always trying to work the system or try to do something extra to, you know, capitalize on situations. And, and now I guess also too, like if they, they were able to get away with the money and keep it, then I don't think they will feel bad, which is also why Chase Bank is not feeling bad either. But it goes so deep when we really think about it. Because now, if you did participate in this, you do recognize, of course, that, you know, that's clearly fraud. And, and for the people who, well, I didn't know, I mean, it's common sense. You knew full well when you went in there that you didn't have $40,000 or 30,000 or even $5,000, whatever it was, you knew then, before you got out the car and carried your, you know what, in there, you know you didn't have. There's no such thing as free. Now, granted, this country <laughs> uh, is, is definitely big on taking things uh, for free, but you and I are not able to do that. But now that you are pretty much going to be like an indentured servant, <laughs> shall we say, because you won't be able to have a bank account or do anything that you were used to doing far as even from your job your paycheck things of that nature now most jobs do direct deposit so very few jobs still write a physical paper check so now you're going to have to figure out how to get paid but whatever payments you do get will now have to be turned into chase right it's only fair i guess you got to pay it back you took it but bigger than that of course now you're pay facing possible jail time and or probation, which is going to affect your ability to get a job going forward if you're still able to even keep this job. So now we had the the rich, you know, the one percent. Then you had the middle class and you always had the poor. And from what I understand, it was mostly the people who will be considered poor who participated in such foolishness. So now you just moved from poor to damn near third world country level of uh, income, right? Or possibilities, because what are you going to do for housing? How can you get a mortgage? Obviously, you're going to need some type of financial backing if you want to get and even an apartment for what a lot of people didn't also think about is that if you were getting any type of government assistance medicaid or food stamps uh, section 8 housing all these things all those um, benefits if you want to call it that will now cease to exist for you so if you were already in a bad situation you just made your situation 10, no, I have to say a, a hundred times worse. Now, some reasons behind this, 
you know, some people say, I guess the government is either a don't have the funds to continue to uh, support all these people that's on the system. Now we know that's a lie because you just make up money anyway. It's not backed by anything. So I guess that's really not the case. Uh, or B to create the society in which that they can fully control, i.e. put you back into another form of slavery. Because who knows? They may work this out. You know, of course, as you can see from this article, JP Morgan plans to report the customers um, to the authorities. So they could go to the feds, but you know, uh, uh, that could work out because I guess on the one hand, it's going to fill all the prisons uh, that's being built. You know, these nice prisons, someone has to be in there, right? Why not you? Huh? So that's, that's one avenue. Or maybe we can figure out a way to work this out. So pretty much you will be working for free. <clears throat> and you, if we don't put you in jail, well, maybe we'll create some type of living arrangement for you where you can just ultimately just be working. And we just take all of your income until you recover all of those, uh, the money that you took plus the fees. And who knows what other kind of things that, that can, you know, that you can tack on to that. So it's just really sad. Um, but it's, it's all about the desire for things. Uh, we all need things, of course, to live. But the truth is, most of these people didn't get, and this is an, an assumption, I don't know. But there was quite a few people that went on shopping sprees, uh, you know, buying Gucci and Prada and all these expensive items so that they can stunt and look like they got some money, you know, give the appearance that they got it going on. But in reality, they really didn't have anything. But to not have the common sense to know that this is fraud is is beyond me. And you hear people talk about, well, you know, they don't teach this type of stuff in school. I mean, this is true, but you kind of knew it was wrong, right? You had to know this was wrong. You didn't have to get a class to understand that if, if I write a check to myself using my own bank account, for fifty thousand dollars and i actually don't have fifty thousand dollars i have five dollars in the account right now and i'm able to withdraw the fifty thousand dollars are these people going to be mad at me all right like come on like it's just it, it's just sad but it's just like a it, it's most certainly a trap and just like a mouse trap you know when a mouse get caught up in the trap the results are deadly so you have just really uh, destroyed your future and you know for your family your kids whatever it's hard enough to make it when you're trying to do the right thing you know on a regular nine to five and yes this economy is messed up and it's by design but you can never allow yourself to fall prey to people that do not have your best interests at heart. Only you can look out for yourself and use sound judgment and wisdom. But I truly believe a lot of this comes from, you know, the fact that we're just kind of bombarded with images of the people that's just living this great, wonderful life on social media. And a lot, I would assume maybe it's a lot of younger people with this one too, but you got some old heads that just have this um, desire just to have all these types of things so that you can feel better about yourself not realizing that you first need to feel better within no matter what you have on the outside if you're not comfortable with yourself and recognize your own value aside from trappings that will not accompany you into your casket when you get there okay so if you don't if you don't have the the worth necessary and it, it may not even be your fault you know i mean some people's backgrounds and upbringings are just horrible i'm reading a book right now and i recommend you guys do some reading please get off tiktok and all this other stuff and read a book but um the book's called can't hurt me by this um and it's bad i don't know his name his name is trueness 
trueness no not trueness whatever his name was i'll get the book but it's called can't hurt me and it's this black guy he's a soldier uh marine i've just got started reading it so far i can't put it down we talk about childhoods that's screwed up okay but this guy overcame the odds and has made a humongous success out of his life so at the end of the day the bottom line is it's not how you start it's how you finish and more importantly how you take accountability for your results to participate in something like this and now to be forever indebted to the government is just diabolical but you brought it on yourself so I've watched the video and, and a person was saying, well, what are these people supposed to do now? You know, yeah, OK, they did it. Um, but how are they going to move forward? Well, I mean, you're going to have to accept whatever comes with committing crimes as the rest of the criminals do. If you commit a crime, you typically deal with the punishment. So if that's jail or finance, and some you also have to pay, too. So even if you go to jail, depending on, even if it's not a crime such as this, but you still have to pay restitution, depending on what happened. So I don't know. So until next time, guys, be blessed and uh, stay alert. I guess the next financial glitch that comes across, maybe you want to avoid that. I don't know. Until next time, peace and blessings.